Our program includes many languages. Please log on to our program schedule for more details. SupremeMasterTV.com forward slash schedule. Nos programmes comprennent des émissions en plusieurs langues. Pour de plus amples informations, consultez SupremeMasterTV.com bar oblique schedule. Rancangan kami termasuk banyak bahasa. Sila log masuk ke jadual rancangan kami untuk butiran lanjut. Supreme Master TV titik.com miring schedule. As I told you already, he has been Buddha a long, long time ago. But in order to uh, so affinity with new sentient beings or older sentient beings, which he has not delivered, in some form of life has affinity with him. He has to come back again and start from zero. Please continue watching to find out more. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Today's episode will be presented in English with subtitles in Arabic or Laksis, also known as Vietnamese, Chinese, Czech, English, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Italian, Japanese, Korean, Malay, Mongolian, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Punjabi, Russian, Spanish, Telugu, and Thai. Salam manis, pemirsa yang luar biasa. Nama saya Arif dari Medan. Di Indonesia yang berkelimpahan, warga kami memanjakan doa untuk pencerahan dan kesehatan Anda. Sebagai kepulauan terbesar di dunia, Indonesia terdiri dari 17.508 pulau yang terbentang antara benua Asia dan Australia. Sebagai kepulauan asal rempah-rempah, Indonesia adalah negara berpenduduk terbanyak keempat di dunia. Mengelilingi ribuan pulau kecil dengan garis pantai lebih dari 80.000 km, laut tropis Indonesia yang hangat juga memiliki tingkat keanekaragaman hayati yang tinggi. Disertai berbagai ekosistem yang meliputi pantai, gumo pasir, muara, hutan bakau, terumbu karang, hamparan rumput laut, hamparan lumpur pantai, dataran pasang surut, hamparan ganggang, dan ekosistem pulau kecil. Dengan jumlah pulaunya yang besar, tidaklah mengejutkan bila di Indonesia terdapat kira-kira 300 kelompok etnis, masing-masing dengan tradisi yang unik dan indah, yang berkontribusi pada kebudayaan modern Indonesia yang dinamis. Maha Guru Ching Hai memiliki kasih yang besar kepada rakyat Indonesia dan telah berceramah di negeri yang mulia ini. Tahun 2014, beliau mengirim surat kepada Yang Mulia Joko Widodo untuk memberi ucapan selamat karena terpilih sebagai Presiden Indonesia. Beliau mengakhiri surat hangatnya kepada Yang Mulia dengan menyatakan, dengan semua harapan terbaik saya, semoga surga memberkati Anda dan rakyat Indonesia yang baik hati. 
Kami sangat senang memperkenalkan singkat Indonesia yang hangat dan ramah kepada Anda, pemirsa yang menawan. Semoga hari-hari Anda diberkati dengan keindahan batin dan sukacita yang melimpah. Selama lebih dari tiga dekade, Maha Guru Ching Hai telah menerangi dunia kita dengan ajaran ilahi beliau. Seorang guru yang tercerahkan sepenuhnya, beliau mengajarkan metode Kuan Yin kepada mereka yang ingin dengan segera menemukan hakikat Tuhan di dalam batin agar dalam satu masa kehidupan bisa mencapai kebebasan abadi dari siklus kelahiran kembali. Metode Kuan Yin telah dilatih oleh semua guru tercerahkan seperti Buddha, Yesus Kristus, Nabi Muhammad, Damai Besertanya, Guru Nana, dan banyak lagi. Beliau menekankan bahwa jika kita selalu mengingat Tuhan, memberi pelayanan tanpa pamri, kepada pihak lain dan mengikuti hukum alam semesta kita akan mencapai potensi tertinggi kita sebagai manusia dan benar-benar memahami tujuan kita berada di bumi Maha Guru Ching Hai adalah sebuah teladan hidup yang luar biasa tentang welas asih secara teratur memberikan bantuan materi dan finansial dan juga kasih kepada para pengungsi, tuna wisma, korban bencana alam, dan bantuan lainnya yang diperlukan. Maha Guru Ching Hai sangat bersyukur kepada Tuhan yang terkasih atas semua bantuan keuangan, penghiburan, dan dukungan kepada para korban dan yang membutuhkan dan atau tujuan baik selama ini. Sebagai wadah yang rendah hati, bagi welas asih dan kasihnya kepada anak-anaknya yang berharga. Di tahun 2006, beliau menerima penghargaan Gusi Perdamaian yang dianggap sebagai penghargaan Nobel Perdamaian dari Timur dan telah dianugerahi selama bertahun-tahun dengan banyak penghargaan lain dan pujian atas tindak kedermawanan dan kemanusiaan beliau yang luar biasa. Menjadi suara yang bisa diandalkan bagi sahabat satwa kita yang elok. Beliau mempromosikan pola makan nabati yang penuh kasih dan damai, serta memimpikan terbangkitnya kesadaran manusia akan kesakralan semua kehidupan. Dunia vegan sepenuhnya yang tenteram dan mulia, di mana Hewan dan manusia hidup dalam keharmonisan yang membahagiakan. Prakarsa beliau untuk mendebarkan tren vegan melalui berbagai cara dan mencakup pembagian selebaran cara hidup alternatif. Jaringan restoran vegan internasional Loving Heart, Supreme Master Television, dan juga secara teratur berbicara kepada pemerintah yang berpengaruh dan pemimpin-pemimpin media serta berpartisipasi dalam konferensi televisi mengenai perubahan iklim yang kita sadari ataupun tidak. Upaya-upaya beliau telah memiliki pengaruh besar terhadap kesadaran global tentang gaya hidup yang ramah terhadap hewan dan bagaimana cara penuh kebajikan ini bisa menghadirkan perdamaian yang langgeng di antara bangsa-bangsa sambil menyelamatkan planet kita dari perubahan iklim. Selama bertahun-tahun, Maha Guru Ching Hai telah ke berbagai penjuru dunia, dari Amerika ke Afrika, dari Eropa ke Oseania, dan mengadakan ratusan ceramah kepada masyarakat umum dan murid-murid beliau mengenai berbagai topik spiritual. Hari ini kita terberkahi untuk bisa menghadirkan 
salah satu drama yang berwawasan berjudul Cerita Buddhis Kehidupan Lampau Sang Buddha sebagai Raja bernama Sinar Bulan. Bagian ke-1 dari enam seri di acara antara guru dan murid yang disampaikan dalam bahasa Inggris 8 September 2015 di Prancis. Halo. Ya mama ya. Iya. Hmm. Ya, halo, halo, halo. <laughs> okay, very good. Welcome, all of you. Chinese, Taiwanese, or whatever niche you are, Denise. Hmm? <laughs> hey, you are here. Ah, welcome. I have to check out my spiritual weapons. Huh? Yeah, perfect. <laughs> miracle. You didn't know I know a miracle, did you? Uh, okay, okay, okay. Today I saw some good news on TV, huh? News. That uh, there, there, is a, a con there is a place named Charon, or Charan, Charan, Charan in Mexico. The village people they protect they protect their forest. Uh before there was some people who went there and, and you know deforest it to, to sell the sell the logs or something. And they protect them, they try to protect them. I think we should donate something to them if you can find it, yeah? Huh? And give them some donation. Give them like a Twenty thousand U.S. dollar, twenty thousand U.S. dollar. If they can find the 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 village called Charon, C H E R A N, Charon, in Mexico, yeah. Got it. Um, they they protecting their forest by themselves. You know, before some people with armed guard and all that, they even lost their lives protecting it, and now they're even planting new trees. New tree to replace the the one that they uh, they cut down to give them a, a leadership award, eh? environmental protection lead, leadership award. Okay, huh? If you can, huh? Thank you. If they can find out. All right. Now I'm done with all this job. Now I take care of you, huh? <laughs> uh, some uh, men can also sit in front of there, or some woman can sit in front of there until I'm going out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, one sit, one sit there, one sit there. Okay, okay. Yeah, just block the road, don't matter. Yeah, until I go out. Okay. Okay then. Now we're cozy, huh? Yeah, <laughs> Everybody okay then? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Woman can sit on the road there. I don't mind. Okay. I can walk on your shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, big shoulders. Yeah. Whew. Okay. At least our world is okay, yeah? Even the world around us is not all okay. Mm. I, uh, I found one story I haven't told you. You want to hear it? Yes! Yes! yes. <laughs> of course, oh, I found it. It's about Sekamuni Buddha when he, you know, from alive, as usual. Mm? <laughs> Are you all right? Jet lag. <laughs> if you want to sleep, just fine. I don't care. <laughs> they do it all the time. Because <laughs> this story is about the Buddha, one of his former life that he sacrificed even his own body, body part, not just hands, foot, or flesh, but his own head, just so that he will become Buddha. Yeah, so many sacrifices he has to go through to earn enough merit to reclaim his Buddhahood again. As I told you already, he has been Buddha a long, long time ago. But in order to uh, sow affinity with 
new sentient beings or older sentient beings which he has not delivered and some former life has affinity with him. He has to come back again and start from zero. Okay, now, but if you sacrifice something of your body, maybe, I don't know, maybe you also. <laughs> huh? Huh? Possible some Buddhas around here? Huh? Camera. This way. <laughs> Check out if any Buddhas is hanging around here. Do they look any more? Maybe that's one without hair look like. <laughs> okay. That one also no hair, maybe, huh? And this one with a cap with no hair inside. Oh. <laughs> because this camera cannot reach them, so sometimes you, you know, turn around to show the Buddha's face. And there's another one here and another one there, no hair. Uh, the one hair, the ones that the hair fall off doesn't count, okay? <laughs> okay. All right then. Everybody settle down? Yes. Happy, happy? Yes. Translation okay? Yes. Good. We should really thank the past masters, monks and nuns and scholars who has take time to record what the Buddha is teaching after the Master's Nirvana. And also for the past and present persons, lay or monks or nuns who has really dedicated themselves, sacrificed their time and precious health or under any difficult situation to translate this so that I can read it to you. And we have to thank them. And may they be blessed forever by all the Buddhas, past, present, and future. May their merit be immense. May they be liberated forever. Thank you. According to Buddhism and the believer and the tradition, when you read sutra and all that, you have to put on incense, flower, you know, and bow to the sutra first and thank all the Buddhas and Bodhisattva in ten direction, all respectfully, before you read it, okay? And then you cover the sutra also with silk or, you know, beautiful cloth and I just make it more popular, yeah, more easy, simple. And I apologize to all the Buddha. I say, if I've done something wrong, according to the tradition. My heart is full of respect. It's just that I cannot always do that. So please, all the sin, whatever I've done wrong, is all on me. At least other people, they hear the names of the Buddha, according to the Sutta, they will get benefit. Yes. Thus I have heard uh, one time the Buddha was in uh, in a country called Tisali, in another uh, forest called Ala. At that time, uh, the the world honored one asked me thus: "Me mean who?" Anna, just you know everything. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> How? <laughs> How could you guess? <laughs> At least you remember one name, huh? Okay. Uh, so I didn't waste too much of my time. Mm. I thought I was talking to the sleeping ears, <laughs> but I was wrong. All right. Okay. So the, um, the word honor one means the Buddha asked Anand thus. Uh, Oh man, this is a sad story, double sad. I'm warning you, whoever uh, attain the four, the four miracles, special miracles, yeah, then they will be able to to live one aeon. But uh, now I already attained this uh, four miracle. But even also plus, you know, I um, mean plus that I'm still practicing, yeah, meaning even more, yeah, more merit. So do you know how long I will live? Hmm? 
How long is my long my longevity? The Buddha asked Anand three times. And he asked himself, <laughs> I said, at that time maybe I was possessed by a demon or something, so I have not answered him. I kept quiet. And then the Buddha said to me, Anand, now you go to a quiet area and think about it. Yeah. So I obeyed the, the Buddha's command and went into a forest, the forest. After I left, the, uh, the Maya came, the king of Maya came and said to the Buddha, uh, Obeisance to the world honored one. Uh, you have been preaching in this world a long time already. Yeah. Uh, you have also saved um, a lot of sentient beings, as many as the sands of the Ganges River, meaning countless. Yes. Now you already became older, old. Uh, it's better you go to Nirvana, meaning leave the world, leave the physical body. Yeah. Okay, and then the Buddha took a little bit, you know, a pinch of 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 a pinch of soil, a pinch of sand, and put it on on his uh, palm, and asked the Maya King. Uh, this little. A little sand on my hand here. Is it a lot or a little? Yeah. So the the Maya king say, sir. Uh oh no, he say, um, the the little sand on my hand is a lot, or the the earth around on on the planet is a lot. So the king of Maya say, sir, the sand on the planet, you know, is a lot. Of course, more than the sand in your hand. And then the Buddha said, the beings that I ferry across, are liberated, are as little as that little sand on my hand only. And then uh, the, the beings that has not been liberated are as much as the, the, the earth on this planet, as much as the sand on this planet. Okay, but never mind. Three months later, I will enter Nirvana. Oh, the king of Maya heard the Buddha say that. He was so happy. How can? Joyfully. And then he bowed to him and left. How can that be? He's truly Maya. Hmm? I was sitting in the forest, mean Anan. Yeah. I was sitting in the forest and I was kind of uh, dozing off. Yeah, typical. I saw a lot. <laughs> it's so familiar. <laughs> I was do dozing off, and then I dreamed uh, that a big, big, great giant tree that covered the whole sky, and uh, the leaves is, is very lush for green, and a lot, a lot of uh, flowers and fruit on that tree. Ah. The merit of this tree is wondrous. Nobody can even describe it. And suddenly, out of nowhere, there was a big typhoon that came and then beat up that tree, so everything fell off, the leaves, the fruit, the flowers. I was so scared. I was startled and awakened from the dream. My heart was still pounding. Yeah. Anand, not mine. Yeah. I wasn't there. Uh, so I was thinking to myself, I was dreaming of this giant tree. It seems like such a tree that all the beings under the sun can profit. It's so giant, so big. And suddenly, 
has no reason as the the wind came and beat it up you know like how you say tàn lá gì ha tàn lá tiếng anh nói gì hiểu không beat up severely you know like black and blue if it's a human yeah it is likened to the world honored one the buddha that he saved you know the whole world uh, from uh, heaven to earth yeah from mortal to sages he saved them uh, everyone all beings are receiving his blessing and grace as 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 much you know as compared to this tree like that so the dream my dream probably indicate that the buddha is at going to enter nirvana soon so i stood up and went into the ashram i prostrated in front of the buddha and and say to him obeisance to the world honored one just now i have had a bad dream that a big giant tree that is uh, protecting all beings on this planet that cover the whole sky even suddenly there's a big typhoon came and then uh, bre- break broken that trees into nothing yeah i guess is it uh, true maybe that you are going to enter nirvana is that correct sir Please tell me. So the Buddha told him, "Yes, it is true like that." Three months later, I will enter Nirvana. As I have told you, that anyone who attain the four kind of special miracles, miraculous power, then they can uh, live one eon. Did I say that before? One eon. Okay. And then I myself already attained this four wondrous, miraculous power, and I still need. I still even continue to practice more. Yeah. And then I ask you, how long would you think I will live? Hmm? I mean, mostly people when they uh, get these uh, four miraculous power, then they might stop. Doing anything, but he still continue. That means is even his merit even greater, yeah. and his longevity will be more expansive. But I have asked you three times, and you never told me. You never answered me. After you left, the king of Maya came and invited me to enter Nirvana, and I have promised him already. After I heard the Buddha say thirst, as if thunder have striked me, I was so sorrowful, so regretful. I was so sad, so sad. If now the Buddha is going to enter Nirvana, all beings has lost uh, a place of refuge. Where, where will they go? Whom can they rely on? And after that, everybody else know, and uh, other monks and nuns in the assembly knew about it. Everybody was so sad, so sad, so sad. And they all gather around the Buddha and asking, asking. And the mm, the Buddha said, the whole world in this uh, physical. Planet uh, is all governed by the ephemeral law. The wheel of transmigration is always, um, how you say, turning. Yeah. Today you are here, tomorrow you may be gone. And no one, uh, it's not uh, predictable, and no one can escape. It's not only human beings, but also uh, animals. And even mountains, rivers, oceans, and even uh, the universe. None will be able to 
uh, sustain their existence forever. <sighs> Because of all beings suffering, so I came here to this planet, and uh, I think my job is done. Uh, whatever I had to say, I already said. So um, all of you should be diligently practicing uh, what I have taught you. Do not uh, be so sad and sorrowful. It's useless. Yeah. And then Sariputra uh, lamented. First, he lamented. Oh dear, you know, oh heaven, earth, and all that. The world's brightest eye is going to uh, be gone. Eyes. The Buddha is likened to the eye of the world. Yeah. The thirst come one is going to uh, enter nirvana. All beings has nowhere to rely on, nowhere to take refuge. After he said this, he kneeled down in front of the Buddha, and then uh, said to the Buddha, Obeisance to the world honored one. I have no heart to see you going to enter nirvana, meaning to see you die. Yeah. Uh, please allow me to go to nirvana first. Please. Uh, be joyful and accept my request, so that I feel uh, satisfied. Yeah. He told the Buddha. He requested three times, like that. Yeah. And the Buddha said, "All right. Yeah. You know, when is the time? When is the time?" When the time is up, then uh, even saints and sages will also leave the world. Yeah. After he heard the Buddha almost like you know accepting his request, he kneeled straight on his knees and uh, and and circumambulated the Buddha one hundred times on the knees not on foot here. Yeah. And then he came in front of the Buddha, held his feet and put it on top of his head three times. It's a utmost respectful sign what he has done. And like the last time ever, yeah. Mm. And then he said to the Buddha, Obeisance to the world honored one. Today is the last day I said farewell to you. And then he put his palm together with a respectful manner. He left. And then he went back to his country, you know, his uh, birth country. And then uh, one of uh, the uh, Sami, one of the young monk, uh, went in to the uh, official, to the royal court and to report to the king. Yeah. And then others, uh, relatives of uh, Sariputra, so everybody came and said goodbye last time. And the king Asate, he is one of the very good follower, you know, of the Buddha. He knew that um, Sariputra reverence is going to enter nirvana, so he said to himself, "The great uh, reverend Sariputra is." Like a great, uh, great general in uh, Buddhism, yeah. And now, oh God, he's going to enter Nirvana. Why? Why? Why so soon? Why so early? Now we have no one to to counter those uh, negative uh, beings. After that, everyone, the king and uh, the court officials and uh, all the others' relatives and citizen people, they all came. 
and they say obeisance to reverence, Sariputra. We, we have heard that you are going to enter nirvana. We feel as if we are the children who are losing the parents, as if the little chicks are losing uh, the mother chicken. We are not. We we are losing our uh, refuge. We have nowhere to to rely on. No one to rely on from now. And then Sariputra said to them, "Please." All the Buddhist follower, Buddha's follower, do not feel sad. Do not feel sad. Uh, all the beings, anything, anything at all on this planet, belong to two, two words. That is ephemeral. One word, ephemeral. In Vietnam, it's two words. Yeah, ephemeral. I mean, uh, unpredictable. You know? Yeah. All right. Pemirsa yang berharga, terima kasih telah bergabung dengan kami untuk acara hari ini yang berjudul Cerita Buddhis Kehidupan Lampau Sang Buddha Sebagai Raja Bernama Sinar Bulan. Bagian ke-1 dari 6 seri di acara Antara Guru dan Murid. Akan hadir selanjutnya seri multi bagian mengenai ramalan kuno tentang planet kita, ramalan zaman keemasan bagian 20, penghargaan khusus untuk Tuhan Yesus Kristus, Pangeran Perdamaian. Segera setelah berita patut disimak. Tetaplah di Supreme Master Television untuk acara positif lainnya. Semoga Anda tercerahkan dengan cahaya kasih dan kebijaksanaan. May you be enlightened with the light of love and wisdom. For more details and to check out our schedule for language availability, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash bmd and suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Pour plus d'informations et pour consulter le programme des langues disponibles, visitez suprememastertv.com baroblique bmd et suprememastertv.com baroblique schedule. Untuk butiran lanjut dan lihat jadual kami untuk ketersediaan bahasa, Sila kunjungi suprememastertv.com miring BMD dan suprememastertv.com miring schedule.